Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, you were home this past Saturday at Lebanon Valley, got out to a quick start, uh, picked up your first home win of the season, um, kind of carried some momentum first, second quarter, and kind of carried that through, and uh, just talk about the game and how it went for you guys. Well, like you said, Greg, it was uh, the fast start was good, getting, getting the turnover quick and um, getting on the board quick was certainly advantageous for us. And um, I think the thing that strikes me about Saturday the most is, is it was a quality team win. Yeah. Um, great output, great effort from special teams, great output, great effort from the defense, you know, great output, great effort from the offensive side of the ball. So I think it was our most complete performance. Yeah. Um, I think there's still things we, we can work on and look at and get better at, but on a whole, very proud of the guys for, for the, the team effort and the team win. Yeah. Second quarter, you talk about the opening turnover, but another big special teams play, obviously, Vince Lee's 52-yard uh, punt return for a touchdown. And then, uh, like you said, defense, a couple uh, interceptions in that quarter that led to touchdowns. So you were up 22 nothing and a half. Just talk about how that momentum kind of built upon itself. You know, points off turnovers is something that we talk about often, obviously. You know, the, the turnover, um, the takeaways on the defensive side are very important to us and something that we've talked about in the past. And when we're able to convert those turnovers to – to points is a huge momentum swing in a ball game, and then obviously you know Vince's return, and you know the number of guys that had big blocks on that return was impressive. Mm-hmm. And again, you know special teams is something that um, you know we've really worked on and built throughout the years. You look back to week one, you know we definitely had some some issues on yeah. teams. Um, so you know kind of recommitting ourselves over, uh, ourselves over the last couple of weeks is something that the guys have really kind of bought into, and the efforts there and the execution is starting to come along. Yeah. Um, obviously, on the offensive side of the ball, had to make a couple changes. Uh, but Ty Crab came in, uh, first career star, and um, did pretty well for himself. Yeah, he, you know, he was um, he made some mistakes, but he did a lot of a lot of positives yeah. as well. So for us, um, you know, as as we work through this, you know, he's going to continue to grow and um, you know going to get better and better every week. And I think too, I think you've got to look at the offense as a whole. Correct. Um, whenever you have that that type of change, you know, in, in a very short amount of time, mm-hmm. it takes a lot of adaptation, not only from the staff but to the offensive line, receivers, running backs. Everything's going to feel a little bit differently. Yeah. So, to the credit of the entire group, um, to be able to go out and execute, and, you know, have almost 400 yards and um, you know score 30 points is certainly something that that we're proud of. But again, you know, things that we have to continue to build upon and, and, and still clean up some of the things from Saturday that. That, 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 you know, there's still places to go with the offense. And it, right. it's going to be exciting to watch. Yeah, certainly, you know, put a new offense, like you said, not just Ty, but every, it's new to everybody. So they're all going to be learning and improving, hopefully, from snap to snap, play to play. Absolutely. And then, um, well, I know we talked about it, but just the defense. I mean, you know, they had the ball, I think, in your territory three times. Two of them, one was the block punt and one was the um, – uh, the fumble. Mm-hmm. So, and there was one time, and it was late in the fourth quarter, where they finally got near territory. So, keep doing a good job of keeping them on their side of the field. Absolutely. You know, we went back and looked at the drive chart and and, and redid some of the numbers. Um, our first group only gave up 135 yards of total offense all yeah. day. Um, and whenever you can hold a college offense, you know, to that that type of number, you know, you're doing something right. And I think f- for those guys, they're starting to find their groove a little bit. Um, you know, start. You know, you watch them and you watch the pursuit and the energy that they're playing with on the defensive side of the ball. Um, even carrying back to two weeks ago, um, it has been significantly improved. And again, that's something that we've talked about, and we've got to continue to work and build upon it over the next four weeks. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so back in action again once again this Saturday. Uh, travel up to Widener for uh, for their homecoming game. A game, two teams. It's always a very physical, very um, emotional battle. Um, Obviously, what do you need to uh, do to go up there and come away with a victory on Saturday? Um, we, we've got to maintain composure. You, you know, for us going up there, you know, there'll be 5,000 people there for homecoming. It's it's probably the most hostile environment that we'll play in this year. Um, and, and, you know, their fans are loud and, and, and they get after you a little bit. And it's, it's going to be fun for us. But the, the key for us is, you know, maintaining our composure, being the best football team that we can be for 60 minutes. And, um, it, you know, if we can do those two things, I, I think we'll have a shot. All right. All right, Coach, we'll wish you the best of luck on Saturday, and we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.